Hello friends, welcome to Technotree. This is our second tutorial on jig and fixture design. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss about the degree of freedom and a 3 to 1 principle. So let, let's get start. As we know, the degree of freedom is nothing but the independent parameter that defines the configuration of the body and it is the number of parameters that determine the state of body or a physical system. So to better understand, let's have a look on the figure. If we have put a body or cube in a space, then the parameter defining the configuration of body is it is free to rotate in all the three axes x, y and z and it is also free to rotate about the three axes. That means it has six degree of freedom that is it it will able to move either in x x onward direction and x backward direction it is free to move on the upward y direction and the <coughs> downward y direction also it will able to move in z axis through and fro it is also able to rotate in all the three direct three axes so that's why it has a six degree of freedom and the degree of freedom is nothing but the parameter that config the body and we are going to use this degree of uh, this degree of freedom in the principle of 3 to 1 principle to restrict that motions and that movement of the body so let's have a look on the 3 to 1 principle <coughs> If we have put a body in a free space then it is free to rotate and free to move in all the three axes that means it has free to rotate either x plus direction x minus direction in x uh, clockwise or either anti-clockwise in all the three axes and it also it is able to move linearly in x positive and x negative uh, also in both the y and z direction so we have to that's why we need to restrict the motion and moment of the workpiece and to restrict that moment we use 3 to 1 principle as per the 6 point location principle workpiece can be completely restrained with the help of locating pin in one 3 locating pins in one plane 2 locating pins in a second plane and the 1 locating pin in third plane hence many times this principle is also called as 3 to 1 principles that restrict the all the six movement of the workpiece and we can we can easily machine on that workpiece as shown in figure the body is rested on the horizontal plane there are three locating pins on the bottom plane two locating pins on the side plane and one locating pin in another side plane these all six pins will rest restrict the motion of that object either linear or rotary and we uh, we are able to perform operation on that object without any motion and that's why we are using a 3 to 1 principle in a jig and fixture design i hope you like the video if you like the video then please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the latest updates